Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the dreaded VMware error. Could not open slash dev slash VMM on no such file or directory. And we're going to do it without disabling secure boot. If you're on Ubuntu, Lubuntu, or any other Ubuntu based distro, stick around. I'll walk you through signing the VMware kernel modules so they work perfectly with secure boot. When you try to start a virtual machine in VMware, you might see this error. This happens because VMware uses two kernel modules, VMON and VMNet, and a secure boot refuses to load them since they're not signed with a trusted key. We have two options, disable secure boot, or keep it enabled and sign the modules ourselves. Today, we're doing the second option, the safer and more um, uh, professional one. First, run this command to recompile VMware modules. This command will compile and load the required kernel modules like vmemon and vmnet. Next, install required dependencies. First, update your system. Then run the module install again. You can check if secure boot is on using this command. This confirms that secure boot is enabled and is blocking the VMM on kernel module from loading because it isn't signed with a trusted key. Install another required package. Next, generate a signing key. You will find these commands in the description. This command creates a private key and a public key for enrollment. Now, Enroll the key in MOK. You'll be prompted to create a password. Remember this, you'll need it at the next boot. Now you can reboot your machine and enroll the key. You will see a blue screen like this one called MOK Manager will appear at boot. Select. Enroll at MOK, continue, choose yes to enroll. Enter the password you created earlier and after enrolling, boot normally. Once logged back in, locate the VMware modules by running these commands. This will output something like this. Take note of those full paths. Now that you've confirmed the exact paths of the modules, here's exactly how to sign the modules using the key you generated earlier. Run the sign commands. Take note of the full paths at the end of the command. They might be different from mine. Now you can reload the modules. Confirm the modules loaded. If you see these outputs, then they are now signed now, 
VMware Workstation should be able to start your VMs without giving the error while keeping Secure Boot enabled. And that's it. You've just learned how to sign VMware kernel modules in Ubuntu or Lubuntu so they work with Secure Boot. No more disabling important security features just to run your virtual machines. If this video helped you, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux tips, and drop a comment if you have any issues. I read and reply to them all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.